I'm Jen Trepik of Salad with a Side of Fries podcast here in Tribeca for Flavors of New York to visit North Bar. Let's go in. We are here with Stacy and Katie, owners of North Bar. So thank you for having us. I guess let's start with the inspiration behind the name. So the Hudson River used to be called North River. So that's a big part of the concept as well as that we're in Northern Tribeca. We've been housed in Northern Tribeca for a long time, operating another restaurant. And um, we wanted to do an homage to this neighborhood. We're in a landmark building, we're in a landmark district, and we just felt it was the right name, the right experience to have here. Nice. So speaking of landmarks, we're in a special room in the restaurant. Tell us about this room. Well, when we did our research for it, our landlord is a big history buff and he loved that we wanted it to be part of it. We wanted to learn who all the landlords, everyone was before. And we found out that the Steinhardt brothers were four brothers that came over from Germany in the mid 1800s. And Lewis was the oldest one and he had this place in 1883 and they were whiskey distillers from all over the Northeast. And so we have up on our wall there, one of their posters from back then. And our landlord actually, as a gift, a month after we opened, bought us one of their beautiful little, it was called White Pure Lily Rye. Yep. I think from Connecticut. They did handcrafted jugs and they're very difficult to find. And we actually reached out to actually the granddaughter, Jane, to try to find out more and try to see if we can get more paraphernalia to design the space. Um, so that's definitely a special part of, again, the history of this place. All right, so speaking of, you know, it's such a special room and a special place and getting into the history and a labor of love, as you call it, tell us about the decor. We asked Alibayan, one of our good friends that she's known for 18 years, I've known for 10, to help us design it, and he took it and he ran. Every paint color we sat in here in the dark with candles. All of our candles, he found sailcloth designed, he hand sewed those. He designed all of our beautiful lights to make it look like they were old buoys. He found old buoys from pieces of a ship out of Texas, bought old plates from old cruise liners, yep. like every little detail was well thought out. Without making it a kitschy nautical yes. theme. We did right. not want that. Right, but going with the nautical theme plays into the menu. I mean, it's a bar, but there is sort of a menu of food. Talk to us about the Abs menu. Absolutely. So, I mean, definitely in back in the day, I mean, there was the Hudson River that had oysters. Um, right now, we don't do oysters. That's actually a really big commitment to do at the moment. But we have plates like sardines. We do tuna tartare. We have a great like riff on shrimp cocktail. So I think that again, it's a homage to what was going on, what they ate in those days. Whether we bring back like smoked salmon and sturgeon in the fall. Um, we also want it to be completely different from next door, which is our sister restaurant, which is very meat centric. So we wanted lighter fare here. And. The bar, I know you mentioned you have Guinness on tap and a long crack cocktail menu. Talk to us about all the drink options. Well, we always wanted draft beer. Again, that's something we didn't have next door, so that was a big thing. And we got this beautiful draft beer system from Quebec, which we're very proud of, all these great beers. And then our cocktails, really, we wanted a great cocktail menu. And we ended up with two, well, three amazing bartenders, and they took it and they ran. We gave them the creativity to do it, so they're coming up with all their crazy cordials, and it's really, we just expanded it to 14 cocktails. We pride ourselves on not having the typical stuff that you would see in most bars. Perfect. And speaking of not typical, we have our sparkling in a wine glass. Yes. Tell us about that. All the psalms that we're friends with, they always do the sparkling in the wine glass because it's better for the bubbles. They always say the flutes end up just stifling the bubbles. And so we always prefer to drink it that way. So we suggest, we always offer both. And a lot of people, big yeah. champagne drinkers, love it out of wine glasses. Yeah, but they definitely have an option. And most yes. people these days. We don't force it upon anyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We don't want people to feel intimidated because we feel, we know that this place has been so designed and beautifully appointed, but we want people to come in here and feel like they're at their local bar. 
so this is our most popular, oh, one of our favorites. It's Smoke and Trouble. That smoke and that's your little sidecar oh. trouble. And, and both the glassware. Yeah. They're just beautiful. Who doesn't want to drink from those two things? Delicious. Look incredible. Tell us what do we have? So here we have our version of tuna tartare with I don't want to say a guacamole but like an avocado mash and fried wontons. Fried grilled cheese. This is panko crusted grilled cheese. We have a lovely smoky cheese and a cheddar cheese mix with an option of like a berry compote or a tomato relish. We have our version of a shrimp cocktail. People think that there's only three shrimp on the side, but that's why you have a spoon. Go inside and there'll be much more chopped shrimp and avocado and cucumber. Pickles, classic New York. How could you not have pickles at North Park? Perfect, all right, let's try. No pressure. Pickles. And so many pickles. Good choice. All right, now we're trying the shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Spicy, so much flavor. Use it with the Kalamato juice, so it's a little bit different. It's almost like we want to say a Mexican take on a shrimp cocktail, but it's not a ceviche, although it's presented like a ceviche. And let's do the grilled cheese. That has tomatillo pickles in it. Ooh. I know. Talk about comfort food. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm going to dig into the tuna tartare. This is Jen Trepic of Salad with the Cider Fries podcast. For Flavors of New York here at North Bar, we will see you here soon. Thanks for joining us. Thank you Thank so much. You.